with the figure fresher and the packaging, um, the only accessory that comes with this is the title belt. But like I was saying earlier, that is a very nice backdrop and it would look great right behind any of your women's figures. Um, but the accessory that has come with this is the title belt. It is a simple repaint, luckily for Mattel, of the WWE Championship. It is white strap um, with white on the side plates here. And then just a big blue centerpiece. Mine has some, like, molding. Some piece of the molding they forgot to take out. They're on the top. You can see it's in black. Um, but that's not really going to bother me. The, the reason I think that Mattel got away with just having this one accessory with the figure is because it might still be to this day, but at the time it was definitely the first SmackDown Women's title we got. I know we have gotten a couple Raw, but I believe that's the only SmackDown Women's title we've gotten uh, so far. Now, Becky Lynch herself, I don't know what is happening, but her hair feels way softer and way, I don't know, rubby, rubber eater than any other women's figure. It just has a very unique feel to it. Um, that's just something I noticed when I pulled the figure out of the packaging. has a very nice, uh, like, smiling head scan. Like, she just got through a promo talking about how great she, she truly is um, as a competitor. Uh, for the rest of the figure, her arms, she does luckily have the old articulation, and she has black going uh, pretty much from her elbow all the way down to her wrist with the bare open wrist. She does have one fist, which is nice, and one open hand, which I wish they either made mics that fit or made hands big enough for the mic. Uh, she just has like a generic red uh, like top on. You can actually see the molding from where it's supposed to be like cut off as a bra but it's not because Mattel is lazy and only uses one mold for the women's figures, but that's no problem. Uh, this belt, it's not removable, but it does move up and down a little bit. As you can see, and it has some, uh, like a, it's, it's a belt. Uh, it's kind of like a warble type of material, so it's like a harder rubber, uh, but I like it. I think it's cool. She has like brown trunks with brass colored designs going down the side of them. Let me focus in on them here. They're really cool, intricate designs. Um, not the craziest thing we've ever seen, like Aleister Black's tattoos or anything, but definitely unique, and uh, they they look good on the figure. On the back, she kind of has more of a sloppy design, and the pockets. Mine's a bit scuffed up already. Um, don't know what Walgreens Factory was doing with this guy. But uh, then going down, she just has like these red, uh, like burgundy type of stockings, uh, going all the way down, pretty much her knees down to her boots, which are golden. Uh, she does have a kick pad mold. Don't know how accurate that is, um, but it's probably pretty accurate, I'd, ass I'd assume. Almost just dropped her. Um, and then she has some type of, like, checkered design going on with the, the black and gold uh, on her stockings. Well, guys, there you have it. This was the review of the Walgreens exclusive women's division Becky Wedge figure. Hopefully you all did enjoy. I do thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.